what's good morning so this has nothing to do with making money this is more of just a me speaking to you thing and an interesting thing that i always think of is um you have to have uh, yeah the what, reason why it's so important to meet new people right is simply because everyone comes with a different characteristics like and in order to get far in life you need to be able to go into different modes okay so what do i mean by that I've like a role model, right? I've got different role models in my life, okay, that I draw on when I'm in certain situations. So if I'm in a room and um, I need to be a bit ruthless, a bit aggressive, you know, stand my ground, there's people in my life that I can draw on. I say to myself, right, what do they do? How do they stand? How do they look? What's their posture? You know, um, what do they, what would, what would they say? You know, I can draw on that. And then sometimes I'm in a room where it's intellectual and articulate and I need to go into intellectual articulate mode and I go, right, who in my life have I got that I can draw on, okay? And then I can go into that mode, you know, how do they stand? How do they look? What would they say? And I can go into that mode, yeah? And then there's times where I might be in a room where I need to be enthusiastic and high energy, you know? And I go, bam, who can I draw on that's got those characteristics? How do they stand? How do they talk? What do they say? You know, and I can go into that mode. So that's why it's so important to collect and... and and meet new people because you're going to be able to collect their characteristics and know how do they stand how do they talk what's their posture you know and you can go into different modes and now some might say yeah but you're not being real you're not being yourself in these rooms um but there's a time to be yourself and there's a time to play the game and life is a game okay and those that get the furthest know how to play it and part of playing the game is being able to adapt and adjust with the person in front of you so if you've got if you've got someone in front of you right um, you need to get along with them. You're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to bounce and create a vibe with them, and you can create that vibe with them, especially in business. You know, the person in front of you has the money in their pocket. You're trying to close that sale. You're trying to get the money out of their pocket, and the only way to do that is for you to get along. No one doesn't do business with people that they don't get along with. That's just fact, right? Yeah, Bobby. Go, go on there. Go on there. Come back. So my daughter wants to go to the toilet. So yeah, and that's just that's just how life is. Like the, I know people that are like, no, I will never be. You know, I'm always gonna be my same, my myself. You know, I'm real. I don't care what people take me or like like me or leave it. And sadly, those are the people that don't really progress only because they've got one mode. They don't want to draw on other people's uh, characteristics and go into a mode and have play. You know, they don't want to do that, and that's fine. That's fine to not do that because once upon a time that was me. Um, but I quickly discovered that I needed to, you know, I needed to have better role models and be able to go into different modes to flex in different rooms. And it's gotten me further than I could ever imagine. So my advice to you is one, meet new people because new people are going to introduce new, allow you visually to see what different characteristics look like. Yeah, if that makes sense. Um, so that you can go into that mode and draw upon and call upon that energy, that mode or that, that vibe when you're in a room and you're going around collecting, you know, different hats, as they say, and being able to wear different hats in different rooms. Um, and number two is try don't stay stuck in that, yeah, I need to be the real me. Yeah, the real you, there's a saying, um, you know, 95% of the time, yeah, you, you only give 95% of yourself to people. You always keep 5% back. Like no one really knows the true you. Not even your wife, your spouse, your kids, your husband. Like no one can 100% know the real you, right? They, you, you might give 90%, 95%, but there's 5% that you just keep to yourself, right? There's like, you know, that funny thing that you might want to say or that weird thing, that weird thought that you don't share or that funny thing that you don't say, you know, because it's the game, it's the game, yeah? It's the game and that's just how human nature are. I don't think we give a 100%. I think most people would be lying if they said they're giving a 100% of themselves to people, even those that see themselves as being real, you know? Um, you're not really being real, you're just being stuck. You're, you, you just want to be stuck in a certain way. So that's it really. I've got my coffee here. I've got my coffee here. I'm about to start my day Saturday. I uh, had a few drinks last night. It was my sister's birthday, popped to her house, had a few drinks, come home. So much things to do. If you want me to bore you right now, I'll bore you with the amount of things to do. So I've got... Um, Orders to do for Fiverr. I've got orders to do for Song Glorious, which is a company that I work with. Um, 
Uh, I've got emails to send. I've just cleaned out my email list for my music production blog. I've taken it down from 15,000 subscribers to about 3,000. I've just deleted all of the people that don't respond um, because I have to pay for that. Every person on my email list, I have to pay for them. Okay, So if they're not responding, then there's no point in them being there because I'm just having to pay for them anyway. So I'll get rid of them. I need to do a bit of gardening. Um, my wife might want to do another car boot sale tomorrow, so I might be doing another car boot sale video um, and vlogging that. Um, I don't know, I might just like try and do some of that stuff and then in the evening just go catch a movie, like go and watch a film with the kids and my wife and stuff or whatever. Um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But let me know how you've been getting on with your side hustles. Let me know any videos that you want to see and conversate in the, in the comment section. Engage with me. The more you engage with my videos, the more I engage with them back. The more you give to the videos, the more I want to put and give to my videos um, in the content form. And then it becomes this relationship where we're both helping each other to grow. You help me grow by engaging and watching. And I help you grow by giving you content videos that help you grow. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a two-way street. So we both get value from this. Um, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.